fashionable. What are you gonna have for lunch today? Mm. Come on. Wendy's. What are you gonna get from Wendy's? A bunch of fries and a frosty stuff. Like one of everything? Mm -hmm. I can't see your face. Oh, there you are. How do you like the place that we're staying? <sighs> What's your favorite part? Mm. Like all these movies and TVs oh. in every room. And then they have the teen room, which is what the the setting for what? A young adult novel. And that you're gonna be what the heroine of? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna meet a cute guy and go in love. And go on an adventure of some sort. Yep, because you guys will both have some problem and you're going to the Bonners and you'll be like one of those story big things. Well I don't know if today's that day, but I do know that you have a fairy tale waiting for you somewhere. Yes. It's a cute smile. And then your duck is watching on protectively. Yeah. Oh, hi there. What's his name? Mr. Waddles. Mr. Waddles. He's adorable. Give us your signature bye bye. Tell me what you're excited about. Food. Food. Sleep. Sleep. This blanket. The immediacy. There you go. This blanket. It's What's... like a towel that just got out of the dryer. It's gonna be here forever. Don't gross people out. Don't get too big. You missed the other two rooms. Mm. Two sides. And Three. finally. Yep, the duck's gonna eat our food. Oh, look at the pies!
we're all done. I have Cassie in the car with me, and she looks a little rough. She probably ain't gonna turn that camera around and be letting you see what she looks like oh. up in here. Oh, I take she it just back. made a, a, a liar out of you. I feel like crap. Challenge accepted. Oh. <laughs> and I'm tired and hungry and thirsty, and my throat hurts. But she was amazing, and she uh, rocked that whole no, thing. We're gonna go get some food now. And they gave me an icy. So this is mom filling in for Cassie because her voice is really kind of um, raspy and her throat's really sore from the um, breathing tube that they put in her today for her MRI. So I am going to tell you what we got her as a yay you're our hero gift. Um, first of all is this ginormous Hello Kitty balloon. And we had two of these balloons on it, one, this one and a silver one. So we were in the elevator on our way up to see Cassie after she had come out of her procedure. And there was a little boy who was about two years old who was just looking at that balloon, just oohing and on over it. And so I thought, what would Cassie do? And I realized that if Cassie were in there, she would hand that balloon to the little boy. So that's what I did. So Cassie actually, without being there, still in her spirit, gave one of her balloons away to a sick little boy who was absolutely ecstatic. The next thing that we got her was this little Hello Kitty doll because she's got a sucker and she's wearing pink and has a bow in her hair which is so classic Cassie and of course Hello Kitty because Cassie loves Hello Kitty. We got her a water bottle but she didn't drink this and I'll tell you why. She didn't drink this because they gave her an icy. Okay, icy versus water. Oh come on, that's a no brainer. So of course she had the icy but we got her water because we knew she'd be extremely thirsty because she hadn't been able to drink since midnight last night. We got her chocolate, not one, not two, but three chocolate bars which she immediately said, I'm not supposed to have chocolate because it has caffeine in it. And I am of the mindset that a little caffeine in chocolate is a good cheat. Occasionally. Not three bars in one setting, but come on, people. The one thing that she asked for, besides Wendy's, which I also got her Wendy's Frosty and Fries, but she asked for strawberries. So we got her a little container of strawberries and grapes. And then finally, we got her this um, journal. And my idea for this was that even though Cassie loves to journal, she loves to write about things and she loves to write about her life and, and her stories. And um, my idea was that she could keep a journal about her visits to La Bonner and uh, all the medical things that she's facing right now. And maybe as a way to just kind of get it all out of herself and onto paper and kind of give it its, its own place. And so even though it's not happy, necessarily happy, journal like most of her journals are that this would be something that would be very meaningful for her. Well guys this is basically it. Uh, all that's left of my plans for the evening is to eat some dinner and perhaps take a bath and then sleep. Um, I'm currently laying down and I've fallen asleep countless times within the last few hours and my voice sounds like I'm sick but I'm not. It's really, 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 really uh, hurting from the breathing tube thing that they did while they were doing my MRI. So it very much hurts, and that would probably be my biz bleh, bleh. my biggest complaint. Besides the fact that I keep falling asleep anytime I close my eyes. So we got up at the um, hospital by like probably six o'clock and the MRI didn't actually start until like uh, 12 so in the time before the MRI actually started lots of stuff was done and it was all just kind of a blur because I was just like so tired I only got like two hours of sleep last night 
it was ridiculous. I do remember that they um, stabbed me in the arm many times. They tried right here in my elbow, didn't work. They tried lower on my arm, still didn't work. It was incredibly painful. Then they finally did it in my hand, and oh look, it worked. Wish you would have tried that before you bruised my entire arm. I have not even left this room since we got back from the hospital, partly because it's really hard for me to walk on my own. Like, I'm so tired and dizzy. I can't even, I can't even stand up right now. Um, but also because I look like I'm dead. And this right here, it's like, I didn't know what it was. I saw this red thing in the mirror and I was like, what is this? It's like a bruise on my skin. And I'm like, I guess it came from the mask when they put me to sleep. I don't know. I remember laying there, and I remember breathing in this weird smelling stuff, I can't even describe it. And my mom was there, and she was trying to talk to me. I was like, guys, guys, I'm going under. It's happening. Here we go. I didn't actually have the capability to say any of that, because I was like, oh my goodness. But it was like instant, within seconds. And I don't even remember closing my eyes, but next thing I knew, I was in a different room and I was like blinking my eyes open and I was like I don't even remember closing my eyes in the first place and that was two hours later the MRI took two hours and I was like whoa that was some crazy crap but what was also weird is that um first while I was laying there I could hear the nurses voices but I couldn't move and I couldn't open my eyes and eventually I was able to open my eyes a little bit uh, but everything was like blurry and I just like fell back to sleep instantly and then I opened my eyes again and I remember hearing mom's voice and I was like oh mom's here isn't that great I feel like I'm still a bit far gone like mm, I'm so tired so I'm looking forward to just relaxing tonight and hopefully tomorrow will be better they said that I'm allowed to take some medicine for my throat. Uh, that this drowsiness should last at most 24 hours, which is a great thing because I can't handle this. I'm so tired.